how uh, we have to check uh, where the water is from and uh, we need uh, one hexagonal key to unscrew these, uh, these screws and uh, we need uh, a cross uh, screwdriver we have to unscrew this screw is uh, the 2.5 millimeter hexagonal key we have to remove the water tank and with the cross screwdriver we have to remove all the screw in the upper part of the machine We have two screws more, one here and one in the other side to unscrew. And now we have to remove, we have to push down a little bit the cover and with the two finger we can we have to do this practically. Open a little bit and push out. When we have uh, the machine practically is open, the, the machine can work, we have to check where the water is from. When the machine is without cover, we have to pay attention because uh, the internal part uh, can be it can be hot and uh, we can put the drip tray install the drip tray turn off the machine i have now the power cord and uh, i can uh, install uh, the water tank with the water If uh, I don't find any leaking, uh, I can uh, uh, put the power in the machine, pay attention, when uh, we, we have power in the machine, never touch in the, 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 the internal part of the machine, of the coffee machine. Uh, I have the power cord in the machine, I have the water, uh, the water tank with some water and I turn on uh, the machine now the machine uh, works I wait 5-10 seconds practically the machine works and the machine works we can wait uh, 5 or 10 minutes or we can check if we have some uh, leaking ok now the machine uh, is uh, on and uh, the warm up is working uh, I have to try with uh, one uh, blind filter to check the pressure for the coffee delivery 
blind filter and start the irrigation and uh, I have to check where the leaking is from some water goes through in the drip tray but if I have some water not in the drip tray it means that we have a problem somewhere 